just going to do a um, a display of my uh, little apartment tour. I just had a few technical glitches here. For some reason, my display on the camera doesn't work. It was all whited out. I have no idea why. This uh, camera does have quirks to it. I also didn't have the auto focus on before, so that totally stuffed up my previous videos. Hopefully, I've got that all sorted now, and I'll give you a decent tour of the um, the apartment. It's a really nice uh, street here, and it's sort of early morning, and it's quite a hustle and bustle. You already got office workers coming out to eat and what have you. Uh, I'll just take you into uh, where it is. Here. This is the actual building here, and uh, and this is where I actually. Uh, It's got to go through this alleyway. It's very congested. Hi. And this is how I get to where I live. Um, yeah, space is at a premium in this country, and uh, wherever they can get some, uh, they will use it to their advantage. So yeah, down down the entrance way there, which has got a security door, uh, businesses set up in the mornings. So, um, now this is uh, the two flights of stairs I have to navigate to get to my flat, which is fine normally, but when I first um, moved in, I had to lug my big uh, suitcase or big big case, and uh, that wasn't much fun. Uh, not the most glamorous walk to the, uh, to my apartment, that I've, I've just had better entrances than this, but, I do like the area of town I'm in, so that's good. And uh, here's the actual apartment, and you can see there's a grill on the door, a security grill. And I'll just go and try to open that now. It's not necessarily the easiest thing to do. There's the actual uh, keyhole there for it. And here's the key, and we'll see how Simply, I can get it open. Wow, that was probably the easiest it's ever been. <laughs> and I also have a selection of two keys to get into the actual, uh, into the apartment. So there we go. It's, it's not much light here either. It's pretty light uh, lacking. And now we'll go into the actual apartment and things should improve a bit. It is uh, early morning, I'd say about eight o'clock or so. So we're getting a bit of a light there from the from the windows, which are quite attractive. Uh, I'll turn the a few lights on in here to sort of hopefully balance out all all the light that's coming from the uh, from the window with the with the balcony. So basically. That's, uh, this is sort of like the ground area. You can see there's some stairs there and they're leading up to a mezzanine um, uh, bed area, which is basic, but you know, it's okay if you fit, but I'm, I'm a 62 year old, probably a little past that, but um, seeing I had uh, my Airbnb booking canceled on me uh, six days before I was going to arrive, uh, I had to scramble and get another place. And luckily this one was in the part of town I liked. Now that you can see there, I've got my laptop next to the actual, uh, there's a computer, well there's a TV screen there and they've given me an HDMI uh, cable so I'm actually able to run my, uh, my computer image onto the big screen so it's been fantastic, I've actually watched a movie or, and some TV shows and what have you so yeah, they're very obliging um, as hosts so that's, that's gone down very well. There's the um, So they're just trying to get back as far as I can so I can give you a reasonable view of the uh, main living area. It's a studio apartment and that's the balcony uh, looking out onto the main street that I was just out on. And uh, there's also a drying rack there so that's good and practical. It's quite an attractive little apartment. Uh, I do like the couch. Uh, the, the owner, Christy, she's actually uh, pitched it to to being suitable for women but um, which actually put me off a bit because I did see this apartment listed prior to actually making bookings and I, and I you know like I said I like the area I might have booked it if she hadn't made that specification it almost sounded like she didn't want guys to book 
Now, maybe that's just paranoia on my behalf, given the modern world, you know, men, we do get in the neck a bit at times. Um, oh, this is some stuff she actually uh, had a recent birthday and she's um, and she dropped off these supplies to me. I, I assume it was partially due to the fact I mentioned the birthday, but she might be just uh, looking after me as a host. So that was quite nice. But, and another little feature here, which I have never seen any, uh, anywhere else, they've actually supplied a couple of, of helmets. And, and that's handy because if you want to go, um, you get a moto taxi. A lot of moto taxi drivers won't supply extra, extra helmets, so it's good that they do that. And I guess if you want to hire a, a, um, a motorbike, it's great too. Uh, but I don't have a driver's license, so it's not an issue. This is a, um, a little storage area, which I use for my clothes and my luggage. And uh, that's not bad. The, the furniture's very nice. I like the wooden furniture. Uh, my old worldy clock. I like that. I like sort of the the feel of the place. It's it's got got a got a bit of uh, character about it. There's uh, aircon up there, uh, but you also have a pedestal fan, which I prefer to use. And again, there's there's quite attractive furniture there. Uh, internet is actually uh, pretty good. It's, it's dropped out a, a few times once in the morning on a couple of occasions, but only for a short period of time. Um, and I don't know if this is this mug that they left for me is their philosophy on life, but they could do worse than have a philosophy like that. I hope that's all focusing correctly. I'm now using autofocus on this camera and I'm hoping that's working fine. Uh, so this is the uh, kitchen area. The fridge is all fine. They don't supply free water. I, I did get two 1.25 litre bottles supplied, uh, but they don't have a, uh, a water cooler thing like a lot of apartments have. So they, that's something they might want to think about because that is it, I have received that as a standard item in other places and not, not here. Um, so just shed a little bit more light in the situation here. There's a microwave, as you can see. There is cooking facilities, not an issue for me because the last thing I want to do while I'm holidays is cook, especially in a place like Vietnam where they've got delicious food that's cheap as. And, uh, and there's a washing machine that works. I've to use that, so that's good. And as I said, there's a dry thing there. Uh, there's this crockery and cutlery, not a huge variety and I wouldn't say super clean, so the cleanliness could probably be improved a little bit. Uh, now, see that switch there, right there, I'll just go in on. That is actually the uh, the water pump switch, and that's another quirk of this place. I've never come across that before, but uh, you're supposed to put on the water pump when you're, say, having a shower, and I'm just checking out the toilet here, which is fine. Um, the only bad thing about this is, and this is not really female friendly, um, you know, assuming that the female isn't as quite as strong as the male guest, this sliding <laughs> is a bear to move. It really is bloody hard. And um, there's also like a constant drip that takes place here um, with the um, uh, with, with the hot water service for the shower. Uh, no soap was supplied, but she did supply some toilet paper and also body lotion, so I suppose that's not too bad. Um, so that's that's basically the... I, I really don't know what the water pump's for, because you can still get water without the pump being on, and it just makes a racket. Uh, but when I'm doing this clothes washing or, or showering, I, I turn it on. I assume it's, it's, it's important for that purpose, but I can't say definitively because I, I can't really tell, tell much of a difference. Uh, there's cleaning stuff here too if I want to actually do some housework which is again not one of those things you want to do when you're on holidays. Um, you know quite an attractive place. Uh, I can try to get out into the um, into the balcony area. It's got this unusual system with this little, little hook here that you slide off and uh, here's another that one works I've got to see if I can work this out I, I did get it working the other day uh, I think I've forgotten how it works again it's a bit, it's a bit strange, a bit unusual the way the, um, the lock works um, 
Oh, here it is. Yeah, I couldn't see it because it's actually painted brown and I'm short-sighted. And there's another little latch there you have to, yeah. And then once you, once you do that, you've got access to the, uh, to the balcony area and see there's, there's the cool drying rack. Uh, I think that's just maybe to keep the sun out. I'm not sure. Not that the sun's a major issue here. It's quite an attractive aspect from here, the street uh, down below. And, um, and there's always a lot of activity. It's Vietnam. It's uh, you know, a hive of activity. So interesting place. Across the way there, there's a family mark. But because I'm a blind market, I wasn't aware that the family mark hadn't opened yet. They're just, they're just actually fitting it up right now. Um, and I was too, too, <laughs> too myopic to tell from across the road. Uh, the joys of short-sightedness. Anyway, so yeah, it's quite a nice little uh, balcony area. Not huge, but uh, it's functional and you can use it for your drying, for the practical aspect of it, so that, that's good. Um, there you go. Just got that done, and just put this crazy little thing in, and we got the security back up and running there. And now, for the last aspect of the um, of the tour is the mezzanine area up here. And again, this was a last minute choice of mine. I would never go for a mezzanine one uh, place again, mainly because like, I'm a 61 year old, a 62 year old now, sorry, and I um, I don't relish having to. Uh, Go up, get up and down at night, uh, down up and down these steps. Uh, apart from the obvious reason, I've just got to make do the hike up and down. The other thing is that this is polished wood, which is not really the best thing to adhere to. Um, I, I don't know if this is necessarily the safest design on earth. We are in in uh, Vietnam, after all, and um, you know I don't uh, I don't know if safety is a huge uh, priority over here. There's actually a stain there on the um, on the bedspread I'm going to have to get washed and I just wanted to uh, to do this video before I actually did that washing today but I don't know uh, again uh, it, look the, the cleanliness here is all right but it's not not a hundred percent and you've got this sort of um, you know the bed's reasonably okay it's not the most comfortable on earth but it's it's adequate I'll, I'll say that and you've got the uh, the glass surrounds here for protection, but again, you know, it, it, you want to be careful going up and down these stairs. I don't think, uh, not for the faint-hearted. Basically, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't want to be doing it unless you've got a reasonable level of fitness, and uh, and you don't want to get too pissed, for instance, and try try going up and down there. That could be uh, fraught with danger too. But look. Overall, this is actually quite a nice place. Um, I do like the design, you know, it's, it's, it's stylish. And it is reasonably quiet too, that's another thing. And the internet is quite good. It just, just cuts out like once or twice a day for a very short period of time, which I think is quite acceptable. But the speed is excellent. And it puts my NBN connection in cans to shame. I can upload my uh, YouTube videos. It would normally take two and a half hours. We'll take 10 minutes here. I mean, we really are white trash of Asia, Australia. That's pathetic, isn't it, in comparison? But um, yeah, this is actually not a bad place. Uh, I think I'm paying around $45 Australian a night for this. Uh, and there's a 15% discount for, for, um, for monthly rentals. However, um, if you take out a, um, uh, sorry, for a weekly rentals, if you take out a monthly rental, you then get a, uh, a 50, over, slightly over 50% discount. But of course, then you're expected to pay for electricity, which won't be, wouldn't be such a big deal for me because I don't use the aircon that much. But uh, if you're, uh, if you're an air, a hog with electricity like the, a previous tenant was for uh, Christy, uh, she ended up... Uh, being left with a $160 electricity bill because there was a misunderstanding about the obligation of the, the renter having to pay for electricity because they, they rented monthly. Um, she explained that all on her, uh, on her site and uh, even though the guy gave her a bad review, she seemed to explain her, her side of the, the point fairly well and I, I sort of give her a go. And, and so far she's been a very good host 
and an excellent communicator. So, so far so good. As I say, nice place. It'd be even better if it wasn't for mezzanine, but you know it is what it is. And um, you know, I'm, I could, uh, I'm, sp I'm quite happy to spend a few weeks here, to be honest with you, and loving uh, being in, in Saigon again. So I hope that's been of some use. And uh, I'll give you a report of the the second place I stay at for one week, uh, which will which I'll be moving into in about two and a half weeks' time. So I hope you found this informative and in focus. <laughs> <laughs>